Hello my friends, welcome to Forex VKS. So today is a uh, 2nd of December 2021. So uh uh the second day of a new one new month. So hopefully everyone is uh, enjoying the <laughs> the last month of a uh, 2021 uh which is quite a tough year due to the covid infection, you know, all those things the lockdown everything. So uh nonetheless, okay, the market continue. Let's check out the introduction first before we check out the a new sender chart. Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, for you guys uh, who want to support me, support my channel, remember subscribe to the channel. And uh, hit the like button and share it with your friend and also okay anything else check out my twitter account forex vks okay anything else i will any setup any opportunity i will post over there okay so let's check out let's dive into the current event so yesterday we got this uh Australia GDP, which is positive, okay, better than expected. It's not positive, but better than expected. We got a non-farm employment change, which is also better for US, okay, better than, than expected. So this is good for USD. And uh, we also got a uh, uh, Fed Chair Powell testify. And we also have this, uh, uh, this was yesterday, uh, especially Secretary, uh treasury secretary yellen speaks right so this one basically they are hinting on uh, inflation they're talking about uh, inflation uh, and possible they want to taper okay uh, uh, uh to uh to fight the inflation so that is post post uh that is the sentiment right brought by them is positive to usd okay actually it's quite positive for usd so we are waiting for a further push on usd but it's not happening yet so Thursday, okay, today we are looking, not nothing much, okay, Thursday we are Spanish unemployment change, OPEC meeting, unemployment claim, treasury, uh, Yellen speaks again. So, okay, today nothing, not, 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 not too big impact news. Uh, tomorrow we got this one. Every hour, uh, every average hour earning and non-farm employment change. So this one you also have to watch out, okay. If a negative number would be, would not be so good for the USD, yeah. Uh, okay so not too big impact uh news coming in today tomorrow we got this uh uh average average hour earning and non farm employment change okay possible possible you also want to look at the ism services pmi uh? okay so let's check out the chart so no direction okay these few days actually has been quite sideways okay sideways price action we i don't see any big uh turn around or any any uh strong signal Okay, from uh, all these uh from these few days of trade uh, these few days one two three four these five days uh, okay of uh, trading so uh it's a bit sideways uh, market there's no uh no what you call it uh mm, impact okay no impact on any side okay any of the currency uh, okay no 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 big impact to push the currency uh for another push, uh, another uh, 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 wave up or another big wave down. So now it's still consolidating. There's nothing much we can see here. Okay, nothing much to trade, and nothing much to see here on a DXY. So our trade remain the same. Okay, our uh, uh, strategy remain the same. Okay, any strong uh, rebound signal from S1, we want to buy all the price might go through S2, S1 to S2. Any strong rebound signal, we still continue consider to buy. Uh, okay. Or there is a possibility of a one, two, three continuation over here. Okay. Once the price breakthrough uh, R1, then there's a possibility to buy in. 
so this is for dx5 for usd also the price consolidating nothing much again to look at these few days nothing much to look at so uh, there is a possibility buy opportunity okay uh, if the price we see a strong rejection a pin bar reversal pin bar here okay uh, or a bearish engulfing there's possible sell opportunity or we wait for the price to go through to so r2 for a rejection for sell opportunity so there is a possibility that the price uh, might uh, drop to today, uh, okay, today or tomorrow, okay, for uh, resulting on a one two three, okay, one two three continuation, which is a break of S one, okay, for sell opportunity. This one wait and see. Market, there's nothing too much happening. Okay, uh, pound USD, okay, pound USD, we have sharp rejection at a. Uh, okay, we got sharp rejection at, at S one now. Price is somewhat uh, sideways okay so we want to wait for a proper break a uh, proper break of uh, s1 retest and resumption for sell opportunity okay uh, or the price might come back to r1 okay uh, rejection for sell opportunity usd jpy usd jpy also you know, a bit sideways over here so uh we got we got bullish pin bar then we got bearish tail bar so there is a uh, no clear direction here so this one i'm not trading this again AUD, usd AUD, usd a bit a big manipulation over here you know a big a big uh, uh no direction bar so uh, this one is still not not too much to trade nothing much to trade here let's see the four hours see basically uh okay we are getting a, a railroad track here so there's nothing much to trade here so in order to trade this right we have to wait for a break a clean break okay okay let me relabel r1 so r1 should be here now 0 0.7117143 okay we want to see a break retest and resumption okay a break retest and resumption uh, for a sell opportunity or the price might return back to r2 for a sell opportunity huh? nzd usd nzd usd similar it's just nothing much happening totally sideways so we don't have any direction uh, okay any possible trade here so what we want to see is uh, Okay, possible okay the price goes back to r1 rejection for sell opportunity or the price clean a clean break below s1 retest and resumption for sell opportunity usd cat usd cat has been going on and on and on and on right so <laughs> slowly but surely the price is grinding up so this one okay there is a uh, one two three continuation over here right Okay, there is a possible one to three condition that day I talked about this setup over here. Okay, a break above the top over here. So there is a possible sell opportunity, a buy opportunity. So we are still, this one maybe you still can hold it. Okay, and uh, uh, for the price to go towards uh, R1. Okay, hold until R1. Uh, but uh, market has lack of momentum. It's quite uh, lacking momentum these few days. Huh? Okay, so this one you just continue to hold the trade. So there is a possible trade over here over this one two three continuation r one two three a break over here you hold it towards r one go okay go the break of the one seven seven nine possible there's sell opportunity uh, but the price has not been moving a lot okay so there's nothing much uh, this is a possible a trade here a sell from one seven seven nine towards our one seven six zero x one okay so there is a possible sell opportunity but uh Market is just very slow, huh? okay, these few days. Look at SPI. Okay, uh, congestion over here is we won't able to trade this, okay? This is just another, you know, similar to another railroad track. So we are unable to trade this. There's no clear direction, okay? One day positive, one day negative, one day bearish. One day bullish, so this is just pure sideways. Similar on DEX also, okay, there's no direction to trade. 
bearish, uh, bullish, bearish, bearish, and bullish. So there is a possible sideways. Nasdaq, okay, Nasdaq is coming back. Okay, Nasdaq is doing quite fine. Okay, so Nasdaq looks like uh, we have a head and shoulder over here. Okay, wait for the okay, wait for the price to drop. Okay, possible towards uh, 1527. Okay, possible around S3. Okay, they are very likely the price might be dropped back to S3 due to the tapering. Okay, so uh, possible there is a buy opportunity towards S2 and S1. Uh, but S2, okay, it's just a target. If you buy S2, the target is only to S1. Uh, okay, because we got a head, head and shoulder here. So very likely it will come back and retest the neckline and it will come back down to S3. Okay, so look for buy opportunity. So this is a head and shoulder. Okay, uh, the Dow Jones, Dow Jones severely big drop. So now its price is coming back down to S2, which is the support area. Okay, we got a channel support over here. So there's possibility around S2, okay, a possible S3. Okay, so there's a possible buy buy opportunity around S2 to S3. So this one watch out. And SPX, SMP. So SMP broke below support line. Uh, okay, our uh, buyers line. So looks like. Okay, now we are changing our bias to sell. So any uh, re any uh, uh, rejection from uh, S1, okay, there's possibility to sell. Uh, okay, so we are possible now we are starting to sell this. A possible you want to wait for the price to drop outside S2, then only you want to sell. Let me see the... Let me take this one out. Yeah, we wait for a okay, a price retest back S2 retest and a rejection, then only we will look for sell opportunity. Eh? Okay, so hold on, eh? I got something else. Okay, don't so don't forget to check out my crypto with KSI. You can find me, okay, crypto with KS one word, eh? okay. So you can find me here. I got another video yesterday. Okay, another edition of video. So talking it's about high. Uh, this is uh, the Ethereum, fire, right? Ethereum went up eight percent. Uh, they are quite strong. So don't forget to check out this video. Okay, uh, if you are if you are interested in trading the crypto, so I'm not be covering crypto over the forex uh, uh, forex uh, YouTube site YouTube channel. Okay, so remember like, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Okay, stay tuned to my uh, Forex video and see you again tomorrow. Stay safe from coronavirus. Bye-bye.